the time, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant were just unknown, slightly nerdy-looking kids with the awesome responsibility of bringing the Harry Potter books to life. Now, with nearly $2 billion in the box office under their cloaks, and another film on the way, this trio is as hot as any Hollywood stars, three times their age. Think it's gone to their heads? Well, you'd have to ask Daniel. I am actually officially in love with Cameron Diaz, and would marry her gladly. You know... It's amazing how things change once you become a big screen wizard. If you're like us, you remember a day, once upon a time, before Daniel Radcliffe tried to stock the Harry Potter movies with his favorite Charlie's Angels. I'm thinking of Lucy Liu for the casting of Cho Chang at the moment, incidentally. So that, that would probably be one of my favorites, I think. That wouldn't be bad, I don't think. <laughs> when he and his Harry Potter co-stars, Emma Watson and Rupert Grant, were humble little actors who didn't know what they were in for. When I read the books, I was like, I can't believe I'm going to see myself doing this. Of course, now, with the third Potter picture on the horizon, these guys are a little slicker. They meet exactly who they want to meet. I have always had a thing for Brad Pitt. And I did actually get to meet. <laughs> it's just really, really good. They take educational advantage of going to work every day on a movie set. I guess you're out of school, which is another good, <laughs> a good thing. Um, you don't get any homework either when you're too shy. Um, and it's just really good fun. We have a really good time. They even make sure to put together a CD collection with plenty of street cred. I like rock music, basically the Libertines, the Darkness, Feeder, the Kings of Leon, the Strokes. Um, just like proper rock music, really. And despite all that high living, this teenage spellcasting squad still can't conjure up something to beat the thing everyone our age dreads. Zits. Me particularly. On the first time I had a huge allergic reaction to the glasses, actually. Um, but Emma is just so... I, I hate her. She's so spot-free. She's it just like... Uh, it's, it's really unfair. No, that isn't true. I get my fair share. If bad skin wasn't enough trouble on the set, Daniel and Emma also have to deal with the red-headed co-star's little giggle problem. Real mature. Rupert laughs a lot, um, which we're going to have to beat out of him. I just couldn't stop laughing. And I was like ruining takes because I was just laughing. I, was, I only did it in the serious situations, like really vital parts of the storyline I used to crack up. Careful, Rube. You keep that up and your newest Potter co-star, the legendary actor Gary Oldman, won't invite you to jam like he did Daniel. We both play bass guitar, although I'm maybe several you know, years behind him, decades even probably, because you know, he's been playing for ages as much as I can gather, but he actually gave me a lesson, so which was great. The first day I met him, I, he was wearing this dressing gown. And I, um, I said, oh, wow, fantastic costume. He said, no, this is mine. Which was a slightly awkward moment for a second, but he laughed, so it was fine. You know, looking back on what we've all learned about the Potter crew, I guess the jury's still out on whether these three are still regular kids. Just because I'm doing this doesn't mean I don't have to, um, doesn't mean I don't have to, you know, do stuff at home and load the dishwasher and unload the dishwasher and tidy my bedroom and I still do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Well-connected superstars. You get to meet loads of cool people, like all the people you work with. It's really fun. Or maybe a bit of both. In this specific case, it's getting to play somebody who is a absolutely so hugely loved by people all across the world. I suppose would actually be the best thing. So I mean, it's a, it's a, almost it's a huge honour, basically, isn't it?